Welcome back to Oklahoma Bushcraft. Today I would like to look at this axe I recently picked up at a pawn shop. I've been wanting one of these Eastern European or Soviet style axes since I saw the movie or the documentary Happy People. It was about a full year uh, following around these hunt professional hunters and trappers in the Siberian taiga. The, in, the way they were able to do different things with their axes, they made everything with their axes. And it just looked like it'd be a good carving axe. Uh, so I wanted one, but to buy just an axe head, about, you can find the axe heads for about 20 bucks on the internet. And about 30 to $40 to ship it. So it's out of the price range, generally. I happened to cross this one at a pawn shop, it was marked 20 bucks. The guy said he'd take 15, so I was happy to take it home with me. Let's look at it. I can't read, I'm assuming this is Cyrillic, the stamping. Uh, most of these, they say, were blacksmith made during the Soviet times. Um, It rings really well. The steel's in good shape. There's some ripples in the steel here where I was sharpening it, and you can see where there there's some ripples. Uh, yeah, almost all of them look like they're hung upside down. It's got more meat up here than it does down here generally. But this is correct the way the on the handle. The handle is odd shaped. It's a little big, but it feels good. Some of them have this extra strap of steel that goes up into the eye to help keep the head on. Uh, it's a little loose. I'm going to replace this handle with a handmade one. And I'll probably get rid of this metal strap that goes down the back of the head and screws into there. Um, it has a good edge. When I first picked it up, I've seen butter knives butter knives with a sharper edge uh, but it'll chop handles pretty good awkwardly enough a lot of the Russian or Soviet axes only have a two-foot handle and they will use those stubby little handles choke up on them to cut down decent sized trees I don't think they have uh, hickories or blackjacks like we do here in Oklahoma so but they have a uh, different types of softwoods or what we would consider softwoods uh, birches and stuff but that is a camp axe that is a nice axe I can't hardly wait to get a decent handle on it so I can go take it out and do something adventurous with it but uh, if you have a chance to get one of these do so I don't think you'll be dis displeased or I don't think you'll be displeased with it. It's not a hundred dollar Wetterlings or two hundred dollar Grand Force Brooks. It's right in my par ballpark. Fifteen dollars. I like that. It's got a bigger eye than our Western axes, and I hear that's the re the reason behind that is because the wood that they used needed to be thicker up here because unlike our hickories. The modulus of rupture or the breaking point on this is a lot less. So they had to use beefier wood up here in the axe head, in the pole. So that's what I heard. I don't know. I've never used a birch handled tool, so I can't tell you. But anyway, again, this is a Soviet era Eastern Woodsman's Axe. Sometimes they're called hunter's axes, trapper's axes. Thank you.